Now we're going to look at how to make realistic looking fire in Photoshop. First we're going to start with a new uh, document under File New. Choose the same old 500 by 500. And keep the resolution around 100. Hit OK. We've got our new document and uh, for starters we just really want um, I'm going to use just sort of a, a medium gray and increase my brush size here a little bit and just draw something, um, a line, whatever you'd like. Um, I'm also going to be using the smudge tool and that we actually want to change the strength so that it's maybe around 30% and the reason why is you don't want much more than what I'm doing right now. Um, you can, you know, embellish certain areas, certainly. And certainly you probably want to adjust your brush size so that you have different uh, types of smudge, uh, different types of sizes of smudge happening so it looks as realistic as possible. So sometimes I'll actually even, you know, do a whole area that... Um, is a bigger brush and then some areas that are a much smaller brush. And we'll get back into this a little bit uh, later when we're kind of finalizing. But as long as you have something that has some uh, almost a blur to it, like we've created here, um, that brush I was using was uh, the hardness was set to zero. So it had kind of uh, a glow to it almost. So we've got this to start, and um, we're going to just go to Image Adjustments and under Color Balance. Here you've got to really kind of tweak it. Um, basically we're boosting the reds and the yellows in the midtones, um, the shadows and the highlights. Uh, not so much with the green and magenta. So I'll switch to shadows and boost the reds and the yellows. and. Also for highlights, we want plenty of red and plenty of yellow. So we're getting the beginnings of a pretty realistic looking fire. It's getting there. Um, like I mentioned, you want to use the smudge tool and maybe increase the strength now that we've really got some, some uh, good looking colors going on. Um, try variations of uh, increasing and decreasing to get the desired effect. Um, for now, maybe 50% is the best way to pull up those flames. And just keep pulling at it. And there we go. Um, one other option too is you could uh, duplicate this layer and you could remove the background using the magic wand. We'll remove that background and change, uh, deselect, and change the blending mode uh, to multiply. And that will, in effect, uh, increase the color that um, depth. So there we go. And you can also um, move that around so that you've got a different kind of depth happening um, with your the flames there. So. Now that we've got kind of two layers going on, you can have a real decent looking, uh, realistic looking fire.